daring, and fire mix well in the Hell Driver formula. Your supercharged excitement, spins, skids, jumps, just about everything an expert driver can do with a car. So join me, Lindsay Nelson, as we meet the world champion Hell Drivers. A veteran of over 30 years' experience, he's mastered the most dangerous and intricate tricks in the book. He's now considered the world's best all-around stunt driver, Peter Gross. A 12-year record of exceptional daring and the most versatile driver on the track. John Wisner, an outstanding performer at two-wheel action, whether he's part of the precision driving team or the expert who flies his motorcycle through the air over five automobiles, Rick Stark. A former acrobat from Denmark now balances moving cars. Acknowledged as the best high ski driver in the business, he's provided thrills for many motion pictures, Tony Peterson. Smashing up cars, putting them back together, or driving them with precision, it all comes easy to the seven-year veteran, Dick Langdon. The fascination and speed of this thrill show is almost matched by the announcer himself. Right now, they're going to place him in the bumper to bumper position and attempt to take them over ramp elevation number one, but they'll quickly cross over to the opposite side of elevation number two and then head for the top of the racetrack. And four champions, under full power move on the first elevation. They take him high, they're down, and it's go! On number two, and they pulled away as they move through the corner. We'll bring them back, and it's crossover time. Here they come. They make the approach now. Take them through. Underneath and go, and look out! <laughs> and they scatter. We're calling that champion now. Take these automobiles no longer a single file formation, but in teams of two to move automobiles over rapid elevation side by side and fender to fender. They're moving now as they pick up the speed and they're flying on number two. Here comes team number two, Tony Peterson, Peter Rose, all the way. It's crossover time now as they pick up the speed and power. On the first elevation, they make the crossover, moving on number two and on the bumper. And these dead of us are on the way. It takes daring and talent to be a hell driver, but are the stars of the show the ones who take the biggest chances? No, we don't really take any chances. Everything we do is a calculated risk. It's speed and timing. If I come down the racetrack at an exact speed, hit a ramp that is set at an exact angle, I'm going to end up with a perfect result. But I tell you, it's, it's teamwork. When we go out there to do a show, we go out as a team. We, there is no stars. We haven't got time for these hot shots out there fooling around. We go out and we do a good show. The audience can feel it. We can feel it. And when we get through, we feel like we're on cloud nine. And rightly so. For the hell drivers are the main attraction for most of the people attending this fair. For the young and not so young, there's nothing quite like a fair. The Hell Drivers have played so many fairs for so many years, they've become an interwoven part of this American tradition. When these fans head for this show looking for thrills, they soon discover that not all the thrills are confined to four-wheel vehicles. As motorcyclist Rick Stark attempts to crash a flaming board wall at top speed, you can almost sense the audience taking one collective deep breath. He's already under power as he moves down the racetrack. No margin for her. He must be correct. He takes it over and through and crashing that blazing barrier. Like a magician's sleight of hand trick, it's much easier to follow in slow motion. And I know you want to welcome back our motorcycle champion, Mr. Rick Stark, safely back at Grandstand. Confusion reigns only when Happy the Clown appears on the track. He's not the sort to do things by the numbers. There's one, two, three, four, five. Hold it. Now I promise six, and we are short one volunteer. Now I didn't say we needed one short volunteer. I said we're short one volunteer. 
I believe we found our volunteer. Cover your eyes, this is too much for you to see. Rick is ready to leap over six volunteers. Uh-oh. Hold it, happy motorcycle coming. Ooh, and I think, I think he made it. Oh, uh, you almost got it knocked off, sir. Happy, have you finally learned to stay off the track? You hear that crowd? That's why we love to play fairs. Our fans are the greatest. Did you ever see anyone come to a fair who wasn't out for a good time? You know, using the hell drivers as a drawing card to a fair isn't exactly new. When the Romans held their chariot races, they were the hell drivers of their day for a fair that was usually held all the way around the Colosseum. It's a festival people never tire of. And we get them all. Young and old, doctors, gas station attendants, lawyers. We've even gotten fan letters from school teachers who came to see the flower show but stayed to see the Hell Drivers. Now fathers who saw the show as kids are bringing their own sons. Not surprising when you realize we've been in this business for over 40 years. Forty years rich in history. When gas and tires were in short supply during World War II, carburetors were modified to run on propane cooking gas, and some models were driven on iron-cleated wheels. Through the years, the stunts have become more intricate and the cars have become more sophisticated. New driving techniques have been mastered to match every technological innovation, such as torsion bar suspension, power steering, automatic transmissions, and now front wheel drive. In one week of shows, these automobiles take more punishment than they would receive in several years of normal driving. We do over 200 shows a year. The cars we use have to be just as dependable on that last show as they were on the first. Now, our cars are not made especially for us. We get our cars from the dealers. They have to be rugged, they have to take it, or we'd be out of business. Well, Happy's here. Well, <laughs> you're gonna watch it from the park bench. I don't think you'll miss a thing from right there. Because from right there, you're gonna be right in it. You always wanted to be in show business. This could be your closing night. Somebody get a, get, get him out of there, pull him. Uh, if he won't go, you better save yourself. These automobiles are moving. For heaven's sakes, they're on number one. There's no room for happy. Oh, they did it too. They flattened, is he all right? Somebody check. He's all right, I can see his head. Happy, you have to be crazy to stay out there. It helps! Many of the automobile stunts you've seen in motion pictures were developed right here at the thrill shows. We asked Tony, what's the toughest part of your job? driving from time to time. No, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. When I'm on the racetrack, I know what my teammates are gonna do. But when I get out on the highway, there's an awful lot of crazy drivers out there, and I, I don't know what they're gonna do, so I drive very defensively. Another surprising fact, the show does not employ a regular mechanic. Precision driving requires peak operating efficiency every moment of every single performance. Like the professional skydiver who packs his own chute, Hell drivers prefer tuning their own cars. We often ask, what's the difference between a hotshot road driver on the street and a professional? Well, that's really quite easy. A professional never does anything stupid. He checks out everything first. He'll check the road, the car, safety belt, helmet. We're out there, we, we're taking a calculated risk, so we want to minimize that. We don't go out there and do anything just for the hell of it. Ladies and gentlemen, the champions here are going to attempt to drive these front wheel K cars on two wheels. Let's see if they can make it. Ironically, one of the most dangerous stunts gets the biggest laughs. Happy you could get flattened. 
because Peter has seen you not as he moves it down the racetrack, holding the balance as he takes it up and look, uh, oh no, Peter! <laughs> Happy got an eye full of headlight there. All right, and I think you better get out of here now. The champions here are going to attempt to drive these Dodge K cars on two wheels and actually pass in front of the grandstand. Tony Peters in the air and riding. Peter Gross is moving. And they send these dead devils flying down the racetrack and holding that balance beautifully. Peter Gross is moving in one direction. Tony Peters in the other as they continue to ride. And they have now moved into the turns at the top of the racetrack as dead devils are moving toward the back straightaway. Now it will be necessary if they can continue that ride to pass these automobiles while driving on two wheels on the back straightaway. Can they do it? Yes, they can! And they get by and they're riding and beautiful control up on the side as they move these K cars around the racetrack as Tony Peterson is under full speed and power moving from the top of the racetrack and holding this automobile in full and complete balance. And Peter Gross is moving now as they continue to keep these automobiles on two wheels. And they're coming down to a point directly in front of us at the grandstand. And ladies and gentlemen, nose to nose, they drop from there, Tony Peterson and Peter Gross, and they can hear you now. Oh, happy. No way to get off the automobile, and Tony is heading for the ramp innovation. He takes him in, and Happy is on top of the car. And did you ever see anything like that in your life? As he attempts to juggle while Tony Peterson takes him to the wall and brings him safely down. You're watching a set of champions as Tony Peterson prepares to make the return now. Tony Peterson, outstanding champion on two wheels, and our dead of a clown, Mr. Larry Kramer. Let's hear it for these two great dead of us as they return to the ground stand up. Then, faster than you can shift gears, the roar of laughter is replaced by the ominous roar of a powerful motorbike. He is going to attempt to leap from the top of that takeoff ramp elevation, hurtling over the entire fleet of five automobiles. So he's going to have to make a long jump. From this first approach, he pulls around. Listening to the sound of that engine. As he prepares to bring it down, Rick is under power. He's approaching the elevation. He takes it in. He's in the air over and a beautiful landing. He made that one. As he returns to the grandstand, Mr. Rick Stark. To those sitting in the stands, this is more than a show, it's a fantasy trip. It's easy for fans to imagine driving one of these stunt cars, or they're similar to the cars they drive every day. From this vantage point, we get a better feeling of what it's like to drive a stunt car. This is a view most fans see only in their imagination. As long as we're fantasizing, we might as well receive some applause from our fellow drivers. These champions can make any stunt look easy, although experts agree there's no easy way to jump a three-quarter ton truck 70 feet through a ring of fire. Peter Gross is on his way every turn of that powerful engine brings him closer and closer to the ragged edge of uncertainty. Lady Luck on the one side, Grim Reaper on the other, and he's down. 
And a perfect landing, and we're going to have it back again. Here's entertainment unmatched. It's drama with front wheel drive. Thrills at maximum RPM. It's the Hell Drivers. 